today I want to talk about how I make a living as a freelance graphic designer. There are two different ways that I am able to make a living as a freelance graphic designer. One with client work and two with passive income. So let's start with client work. Last year, client work made up about 61% of my annual income. Uh, I am a freelance graphic designer that specializes in t-shirt design, mainly for the music industry. Um, that's what I love to do most from my day to day. And on occasion, I sometimes design logos. But that's how I make the bulk of my income. I specialize on t-shirt design and I brand myself entirely around that. So the first two words you see when you go to my website are t-shirt design. I don't build websites. I'm not going to design your business card, but I will design your t-shirt. And because I focus my brand around this, and it's the only work that I show in my portfolio, that's how I'm able to attract those type of clients. And the cool thing is I get to work with clients from all over the world. Sometimes I'm working with merchandise companies or just individually with like an artist. I gather as much info as I can from the client on their needs and then I just go to work, trying to make the best design ultimately for their audience, something that I know that they're going to want to buy and love to wear. Although the majority of my time is spent on client work, it's not always reliable. And that was especially when I was starting out with freelancing. And that's why it's important that I have to diversify my income and you know bring in money from different income streams. Which brings me to number two, passive income. This is income that I make on the side of client work. In most cases, it's something that I make once and then get paid for from then on. To give you an example, there's a website called Creative Market, and I have a shop on there where I sell resources for creatives like texture packs and t-shirt mockups. You may have seen a couple of videos of mine where I'm actually showing the process of how I made those products, where I'm laying out t-shirts, photographing them, putting them on the computer, and creating the product where you can put your t-shirt or your design onto the t-shirt realistically, or rolling out the ink by hand, scanning it on the computer, and making brushes and that sort of stuff. Those products were something that I made originally for me to personally use in my freelance design work. Um, but I know that there are designers out there that could find those resources useful. So I took what I had already made and just took a few days to package them up as sort of an official product. So now every month I get money from those sales. And that's sort of a forever thing, which is really awesome and really helps with that cash flow. So, you know, with client work ever goes slow, I have something coming in. And this same concept applies for if you want to teach and do courses, or you want to write like an ebook or make and sell physical products. I also have a shop off my website where I sell physical products, but I make little to no money off of it. It was kind of an experiment to gain experience on making a product by hand, producing it, and then shipping it around the world. So I have a couple of products, they don't make me any money. It was just really cool to make, and it's really awesome to sort of connect with people kind of by hand, because you know I'm hand packaging all these products by hand anytime an order does come in, very rarely. Um, but if you wanna check that out, it's just off my website, or I'll leave a link in the description below. So client work is my priority, and it will be for years to come. It's what I love to do most, and I get to work on some of the coolest projects that I couldn't have never imagined working on. But these side projects are kind of like a breath of fresh air. It's a way where I can creatively challenge myself um, in ways that sometimes a client work doesn't. It's always interesting to see how creatives um, make extra money. You know, I, I, you could be selling prints, teaching, selling courses, um, you can have an Etsy shop. There's just so many ways that you can make extra money. Uh, so if you're a freelancer and you make money aside from your main services or working with clients, I'd love to know what else you do. Leave a comment below. Or if you're not freelancing or doing any sort of passive income projects, I'd love to know maybe what your future plans are or maybe where you'd like to be one day. Hopefully you found this video interesting, maybe even a little motivating, getting those juices flowing and ideas going for what maybe you can do with your creative skills. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. It's completely free and it's a way that you can make sure to not miss my next video. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch. Now, let's get back to work.